Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Miss Jocelyn R. Taylor. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I want to thank Carl Gray for being the entrepreneur that he is and coming up with the concept and, and celebrating um, now 12 years. And I thank you also for recognizing me with the other recipients this evening. I am definitely honored. And as the other recipients before me stated, it is not easy being an entrepreneur. However, without having the perseverance and the diligence and even the audacity to almost say, you know what, I'm not afraid to fail, I'd rather try and know that I can move forward than just stay still, that is where I'm at. My motto is Carpe Diem because I seize every moment to be the best that I can be and also to encourage young women who are looking for opportunities in media and marketing and public relations because nowadays you have to be an entrepreneur. You can't, even if you have that corporate position, um, I've worked previously as the publisher of Uptown Magazine. I've been the publisher of a digital publication called Viv Magazine. And, um, you know, in all those ventures, I started at Black Enterprise Magazine t literally 20 years ago. And that was pretty about much as corporate as I got in this environment. Um, I have a background at Price Waterhouse and Management Consulting Services. I've worked as a, I'm giving away my age. It's like, damn, how many things has she done? But I mean, I'll be 52 next month. So, you know what? I'm a grown woman. <laughs> so I appreciate being part of young, kids and, and, and black because, you know, and I still consider myself to be a young woman. So what I'd like to take away for other people, not just that, that are my contemporaries, but the other young women and men uh, that are here tonight, that this is the time more than ever, you know, we call it, you know, we have this millennial um, that we're competing with. But it's a time for people in my age bracket too, we have to reinvent ourselves. And therefore, there's an entrepreneur in all of us. And um, it's really for seeing the, um, the aspirations in yourself, having a great team of people around you that are always going to be encouraging and inspiring to you, because you can't do it by yourself. And there's times, you know, particularly, when you are um, challenged by finances, because that's, that's part of the game. That separates you, I like to say, from the farmers and the hunters. I'm a hunter, I like to eat what I kill, and that's always gonna keep me hungry. So again, I wanna thank you for recognizing me for the Millennial Award, and um, I still consider myself a millennial. I'm 52 years young, and I'm still going, and like the song said, I'm living my life like it's golden. So thank you.